G'day guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. We're going to call this Nintendo X in 2024, which I reported a few videos back. That's when the next gen Nintendo console should be coming to us, should be launching, and it's going to be an exciting, exciting time. So as time develops, I'm going to keep adding information to information I've already shared about the Nintendo X console. I'm so excited about the next gen of Nintendo. It's been a while now since we've had a new console. I remember when the Nintendo Switch came out, we had Breath of the Wild, it was just awesome. But now, it's starting to slowly age. It's getting me very excited for Nintendo X. Stick around, here we go. So I shared with you the information from the Nintendo investors meeting about, yes, 4K, 1080p, gonna be a powerful console, just as powerful, or even a touch more than the PS4, not quite as powerful as the PS5. Backwards capability, we weren't 100% locked in sure about that, but now, yes, put a tick on that, Nintendo is gonna 100% backwards capability will be able to be happening on our Nintendo X console, which is huge. Nintendo has also recognized that their online play definitely lacks compared to other systems. So in terms of voice chat online play, Nintendo is 100% focusing on that. And they're going to use the new Mario Kart 9, whatever Mario Kart Smash Ross Deluxe, whatever they want to call it on the Nintendo X console as showing their capabilities because this new Mario Kart 9 game is really focusing on online play. They're pretty good at online play with you know racing and battling, but they want to try and change the game. We don't have details about that yet what that means but they want to showcase all the new powerful online things that Nintendo's adding with this game. The theory was just proven with the Nintendo Direct just launched last week that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch is getting 48 track DLC of older tracks. It just shows that Nintendo was always planning to bring a new Mario Kart game to the Nintendo Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just kept breaking records, just kept selling, just kept booming. So they had to switch their focus. They still want to keep people engaged and keep people buying this game, hence why they're doing the Mario Kart DLC. But now all their focus and development is also in the background of this new Mario Kart 9, that which will launch with the new Nintendo X console. Now, Nintendo has also put forward that they will continue that hybrid pick your game up, pick your system portability will be coming to the Nintendo X console. Just like the Nintendo Switch, if you need to go somewhere, just take the console with you. They are 100% are going to keep that. I've just Sometimes I try and imagine what a new Nintendo console could look like, what they could call it, or how they can design it to make it a bit different from the Nintendo Switch. I'm sure once we see it, it will blow our mind, but yes, 100% they will make it portable just like our Nintendo Switch. So now we do know that portability will be happening. We do know backwards capability of older games. Yes, Nintendo now in this latest investors meeting said that will be happening as well. We knew the new specs. 4K, 1080p, online play, so I'm guessing microphones and noise and lobbies going to be 100% more improved. Looking forward to seeing what they want to do with that with the new Mario Kart 9 game, um, especially this Mario Kart 9 game. It's just got me so puzzled what they're doing. They've already come out and said that they're going to change out the system. It's not going to be traditional. It's going to be a Smash roster style. It's going to be just way different. It's going to include all these different Nintendo characters we haven't seen before. Um, I, you know, I'm hope they get this one right because it is a massive massive risk trying to change things up trying to change the way they've done something that works you know if it's not broken don't fix it but as Nintendo love to do they will push their boundaries we've spoken about on this channel before as well that breath of the wild sequel number two November this year now that was looking very prominent still is but 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 they've also is a potential for it being delayed near May, April. If they haven't got things right by then because of the six month promo that they will do, 
they might scrap it, no, well not scrap it, delay it to 2023. Nintendo is working, you've heard it here first if you haven't already, they are working on other Zelda projects this year. So Breath of the Wild won't be the only Zelda title that we will get this year. And these projects are important because if Breath of the Wild isn't up to scratch, 100% ready to go, then they need something to fill the void, something to fill the space. So there's other Zelda projects that they are working on could potentially be launching in its space. And even if Breath of the Wild does come out, these other projects that the Nintendo is working on, one or two of those projects will come out this year as well to complement Breath of the Wild. So there's some things to be excited about in terms of Breath of the Wild sequel because I know myself, it's the best game I played on the Nintendo Switch, my favorite game. So I'm really hoping they get this right. And if it has to be delayed, I'm gonna hate it, but I'm gonna respect it because it just has so much hype to live up to compared to the last Breath of the Wild, the best game on the system for me, no doubt. And a lot of people, the anticipation is huge. They need to get this right. But we do know if it's not ready to go by the April, May time, when they've got that six month promo, then other Zelda tiles they are working on will launch in its space. We'll have to wait and see what that is because at the moment, I'll be quite honest, I have no idea what that is, what that could be, but I will try and find that out for you because I love sharing secret little gossip information on this channel. Then saying that though, these are probably some sort of remasters or remake or HDs of older games just to cover Nintendo's ass if Breath Wild is not ready to launch end of this year in November. Let's hope. So I've given you plenty of information on the channel today. We're talking about 1080p 4K backwards capability on one play for this Nintendo X console. As 2024 keeps approaching slowly, we're gonna keep running with this. We're gonna keep going with this. Every time information leaks, I find some stuff, I get some minutes from my source. I will share that with you guys and when it eventually launches, we'll go back and we go, yep, we got this right, we got this right, we got this right. This didn't quite happen. I've got a few things on my channel right before. I haven't got everything right before. When you see rumors, when you get leaks, you gotta take it with a pinch of salt. But like I say all the time, when there's smoke, there is fire. But now it's your time, fire. Did I say fire or fire? I'll, I'll have a look back at that when I edit the video. Anyway, in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on all of this stuff I've spoken about today in terms of the new Nintendo X console and potential other Zelda games coming in replace. So the Mario Kart 9, what's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching guys and until next time, take care.